He's had to talk to families whose loved ones left Florida in body bags. And today, Palm Beach County State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg took those stories, painful, gruesome stories, to Capitol Hill as part of his mission to fight drug treatment abuse. News Channel 5's Michelle Casada is live to share with us recommendations Ehrenberg made to Congress. Michelle? Michael, a congressional committee asked State Attorney Dave Ehrenberg to help them understand patient brokering and addiction treatment fraud. The goal is to find ways to protect people in recovery from illegal activity. Ehrenberg's suggestion, adopting an outcome-based insurance reimbursement model. This way, providers would have an incentive to have their customers go through long-term treatment rather than short intensive care. Ehrenberg explained his belief that the current model of treatment feeds patient brokering, where treatment centers, sober homes, and drug testing centers get kickbacks from each other when referring patients. This is the Florida shuffle. This is the reality on the ground. Everyone's getting rich. You have a patient coming down to Florida sent by a marketer with a free plane ticket and then going into an inpatient facility that kicks back money to the marketer, then going into an outpatient facility where kickbacks occur and then living in a sober home often for free because the sober home owner will get a kickback from the outpatient uh, care center. And the lab even makes money on kickbacks because your analyses are very lucrative. And everyone's making money except there's one um, area that's not profitable, and that's sobriety. Ehrenberg also asked Congress for help in clarifying federal laws that prohibit state and local government from enacting regulations to keep sober home patients safe. Michael Kelly.